our puppy farm and Wamal Wa is a different. But just puppy milk. Yes, right. The name Burning Loop or whatever they think puppy milk. First thing. We're doing it for the dogs. One month after Vernon Luke's company was convicted of mistreating dogs at a Waimanalo breeding facility, we've learned he has helped set up another so-called puppy farm on a neighbor island. Good evening, I'm Keahi Tucker. Terry Okita is off. It's another exclusive in the animal cruelty story we first broke last February. You may recall that's when 153 sick and ailing dogs were seized from a Waimanalo facility. The defendants pleaded no contest. Sentencing is set for next month. But now, some of the same people are back in business on the Big Island. Tim Sakahara has the details you'll see only on Hawaii News Now. There's a new dog breeding facility in Mountain View on the Big Island, where dozens of dogs are housed. Relevant because the farm is owned by some of the same people connected to 153 counts of animal cruelty. Here's the connection and timeline. February 28, 2011, the Hawaiian Humane Society seizes 153 dogs from the farm in Waimanalo. That business was operated by Bradley International, where Vernon Luke was an executive. The land is owned by his daughter, Cheryl Luke Kalani, who also owns the Aloha Pet Shop in Aiea. Nine days after the raid, Cheryl registers a new business called Kulani Estates, with the name of her pet store attached. Kulani Estates, along with the Lukes, buy the Big Island Farm, and a new breeding operation begins. I have no, no affiliation with Waimanawa. Stephen Williamson is leasing the land from Vernon Luke and manages the operation. We spoke with him at the farm. I have a facility here that's boarding in Calhoun. So what else would you like to know? Are you selling the puppies to Charles Luke's pet store? That hasn't been decided. I may. We obtained American Kennel Club forms dated in June with a handwritten note to Cheryl indicating she received two poodles from the Big Island. A worker at the farm also confirms dogs have gone to the pet store. So you don't give the dogs to Cheryl Luke's pet store on Oahu? At all, ever? Um, Never have? Well, we have in the past, but that was in the past. I, I, I don't, we have puppies that we, we're going to... Uh, Gonna be sold in a few weeks, maybe or three or four weeks, but we don't know exactly where they're gonna go. Stephen Williamson says he's leasing the land from Vernon Luke and that that's Luke's only role. However, we've obtained emails that show Vernon Luke has been involved. Emails from September show Vernon Luke wrote back and forth with prospective employees and even mentioned flying to Hilo to interview them, which shows involvement. Williamson also lives in Vernon Luke's house in Kailua. And we have Aloha Air Cargo receipts showing he sent five dogs to the Big Island in November. And in December, there's a Hawaiian Air Cargo receipt showing two 10-week-old pugs coming to Oahu. When we visited the farm, we did see employees cleaning up the kennels. They've seen the images from Waimanalo and maintain they take better care of the dogs. What it was before, I can't tell you what it was or what it, it was horrible. You've seen the pictures. And what it is now, it's way better. And we're working to be better. The dogs are kept under shelters that are open on all sides. The pregnant and newborn puppies stay in this shed. And they are still building exercise areas. Work should be done in February, and they say we're invited back when it's complete. Whoever thinks that we're running it wrong, we like to bring them in and show them that we're actually doing something right. In Mountain View, Tim Sakahara, Hawaii News Now.